जय जय परमेश्वर आप सभी को आशीष दे धन्यवाद These programs can be heard every Monday through Friday at 15:35 Coordinated Universal Time, broadcasting on 75.0 kilohertz and 41 meter band. Thank you and God bless. Musician David Crowder is amazed at how God can use his music to change people's lives. Hi, I'm Steve Douglas, and Crowder recalls a performance at a secular venue where he was able to encourage one of the workers there. And I'm talking to this particular dude who was a part of their security. His name was Dirty Dave. He was a terrifying mountain of a human. And uh, he goes, "I'm here every night. We have had you know look at the wall and see all these fans that everybody around the world knows." He says, "I don't know what was in the room, but something was in the room that has never been in the room any night I've been a part of. It's potent and powerful. And I wept the whole night. And we got to talk about all, all the things that he had regretted about." Life and and explain to him. Well, that's the grandness of the story is that that there's grace, that there's enough to cover all of us. What a great story! No matter what regrets you might have, God's grace is always enough. On reaching your world this week, Luis Palau wants to make us aware of God's grand design. If we look, we can see God's plan and will being worked out in our lives, and we can see how He brings people into our path who need to know about Him. I hope you can join us each weekday as we consider God's grand design on reaching your world with Luis Palau. Can change the world for God. Welcome to reaching your world. This is Luis Palau. Part of God's grand design of helping the least of these in Christ's name requires connecting to other people. This is something humans are getting less and less good at. The internet and social media are great for many things. We can video chat with people on the other side of the world. We can look up long-forgotten recipes. We can keep track of local news and global disasters. But when our connecting is reduced to a computer screen, we begin to forget how to communicate with other people, especially how to listen well. Listening is an active process that requires interaction between two or more people. It requires focus and attention, asking clarifying questions, and paying attention to body language and tone of voice. These are all important. When we connect with people, especially those who need hope by God's love, as the Book of James says, that every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. I must say, that's not how most people communicate over the internet. But we as believers are called to communicate with those around us in this way, with kindness, humility, and consideration. When we do this, people will notice we are different, that we pay attention and listen kindly. Good communication can draw people to Jesus Christ if we only look up and start actively listening to those around us. This is Luis Pala. If you enjoyed this program, please let us know by writing to Reaching Your World, Post Box Number Four Three Two Zero, Bangalore Forty Three, or call us on mobile number nine eight four five six one six four one six. Thank you and God bless. Thanks for listening to TWR. These programs can be heard every Monday to Friday at 15:35 Coordinated Universal Time, broadcasting on 75.0 kilohertz at 41 meter band. Thank you and God bless.